Well, here we go again. We're going to try this one on for size. So I've just got a piece of leftover Luan. And I thought, well, okay. So the customer says, I'd like to have a nice scripture from Revelation where Jesus is knocking at the door. And when you answer it, he'll come in and dine with you. And we thought, well, why not, instead of just type out a scripture, why don't we put it on her front door where someone would be knocking? So we took a photo of her front door and then started trying to figure out how to do that in an abstract style with the leftover color palette that we had on this piece of mahogany. And then we could put a little frame on it write the text on it, put it on the wall. <clears throat> so we're blending paints here, different colors. And as we get a little further in there, you'll see the original picture we started with in comparison to the one that we're building now. And you'll see why I couldn't paint a realistic picture. So just go abstract. So you saw that little drop there, and I just picked it up with a rag. I think the trick here is to work while the paint is wet. Now I have it speeded up three to four times faster here. So, and there's a lot of me standing around looking at it, scratching my head that I'm not going to show in here. But, um, well, how do you do it? I don't know. Take a couple paint brushes and there's some little knives we'll use a little later on. And I've got a fiberglass rod that I use to line up my trailer hitch to the truck and I can use that to uh, keep my hand out of the fresh paint while I'm drawing with a pencil here in the fresh paint and we could use a protractor or square or something but then how are you going to lay that down I had no idea so we're just going to take a guess at about a 512 pitch roof standard Texas kind of roof and And go with it now I like using the abstract colors because it helps me to build something warmth and something that, that displays maybe some warmth something that looks inviting abstract I think builds some emotion so and it's it's easier because um, I couldn't even attempt to do it any other way and I don't know what any of these brushes or colors or tools are called. So this is not a lesson. This is just pure entertainment. Uh, David doing his second painting. Okay. And I think the cool thing about this is that it goes real well with the lifestyle that I live. I think it's great when you keep things simplified. There we go. There's the picture that we took of the front of the house. I'm trying to build that. But I've got to do it in an abstract style. So back to here again. So when you see me looking over to the right, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that picture, trying to figure out what to do and how to blend it. Okay, well, well, enjoy. This world would like to make me lonely, but I got my friends with me. We're trying hard to help others find. Friends eternally. I don't worry about me. Ooh, this world will bring me down. I feel better lifting others off the ground. Look what I found. I can't give, and it's the 
best feeling ever. I know this will last forever. Well, I want to feel this is the best life ever. So many good things yet to be done. With these two hands of mine I'll take some love and build us some bread Connect your heart to mine Oh, and I won't worry about me Ooh, this world will bring me down Yeah, I love doing this. You know, it's number one is the ministry and the congregation and family and spiritual things. And work is to support all of that. And every now and then you run into somebody like like the uh, the couple that I'm working for here that just want to put spiritual things first too. And it just is such a rich blessing it makes every day joyful and it's it's like this painting i sat and i prayed that um, I, I i knew this would bring praise to god i knew it would bring him, our father praise so i said I, I don't have the talent but like the tree if you if you gave it to bezalel and aholia a holy ab, you know, why, why couldn't I have it for just one painting and the other one? I'm not an artist. I don't really do this stuff all the time. It's just really cool that with the spirit, I think anything's possible. So, uh, well, we're trying to make something look with depth, a little siding here, some shadowing with uh, the green coming into the blue. Hopefully that'll build some shade as we go along here. And then I've got to build, build those brick columns on the sides. I have no idea how I'm going to do bricks. It seems like you know, very intimidating. I, I can't even imagine very intimidating. And you'll notice that my squares aren't square and my circles really aren't circles, but, and everything leans a little this way or that way. And I don't think that's important. Okay, so let's try these brick columns and see just what we can come up with. I'm using my fingers on the edge of the board. Old carpenter trick. Maybe painters do it. I don't know. 
blending a few different colors, but how am I going to do all the bricks? And you see me constantly using my left hand. I'll grab, I'll just swipe a little bit off, <laughs> move it around a little bit. You know, I think that's a cool thing about it. Painting is that uh, you don't have to be intimidated. Just keep layering it on until it starts to look right. And if you find an area that looks right, then work to work somewhere else. Okay, this has got to start looking like a porch. There's some depth there. Okay. Just around the corner Starting to come together It's like a little plastic brick trowel And in case you're wondering, yes, I can no longer see my toes. My belly is in the way. <laughs> That's why I have a full-length mirror at the house. So overall, the hour, uh, the painting took about three and a half hours, even though the video is half an hour. I like that the other roof lines, the other gable gives it depth. So that's what we're going for here is depth. Now how do you make a circle? A vintage circle. It's a gable, a round gable vent. Hmm. And what colors do you use to shadow it? Orange and blue? I don't know. Let's see how it works.
Okay, it's starting to come together. What do I have that's round? How about a mostly used roll of blue masking tape? You'll see where that comes into play here in a few minutes. That's it. Can we make that look like this? Figuring out how to make this circle here and cover the outside of it with some siding color, some layover paint. I don't know what to call it. I start to get a little bit of confidence right here. And I think, you know what, Joe, I think we might have this working out. So the last painting was the tree that we did, and we did it on the wall, and it came out nice. And we thought, well, why do this on the wall? What if they ever sell the house? Maybe they want to take it with them. And so this one we've got on the board, and now we've got a whole lot more coming that she wants to do. So what a great praise it is to our father that his name and his word is on her walls.
for all to see and be inspired. So I think for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and build a canvas because it's about three and a half by seven feet, three and a half feet by seven feet. So we'll see what, uh, what we're doing there. All right, it's starting to come together. Well, I hope you're enjoying this, and if you've stayed with it this long, uh, it just goes to show that you, you don't have to be an artist to paint something, but it does help if it's uh, for his will and serving his purpose, and you ask for his spirit. Now, I don't think I could have done it otherwise. And now it's just really kind of starting to make little details come together. To me, it's starting to look warm. I think I like the colors. And I'm starting to use different brushes to see what the different brushes do. Different shapes, different amounts of paint. Some are for applying paint, it seems like. Some are for taking paint off. I don't know. It was only a $2 set with about 30 different brushes in it, so I'm sure... Uh, a $30 set is probably a whole lot better. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, you're going to get to a point here when I start drawing these pots that uh, the phone rang, and I didn't realize it stopped recording. And when I checked it, I had already done the plants. And I, I'm sorry for that. But you'll still get to see some of that. A little bit of shading. Some of the lines are coming together. A little more depth is showing up. I wish I remembered my 8th grade art teacher's name. I'd shout out a thank you to him, although he's probably long gone by now. Happy when you're up, right by your 
side when trials come. Speak up if you're wrong, commend you when you're right, keep you on track. Tip the kids to life, help you keep your Okay, we're coming into the home stretch. And here's where I lose the video, I'm sorry about. Yep, I missed all that right there. About 15 minutes. Now we'll uh, let it dry and glaze over it. And no, I have not signed any of my artwork because I don't believe any of it is for me to sign. The talent was given to me. I know these things aren't magnificent, but for me, that's it, it impresses me just to know that that came out of my hand and to know that it was something better, much more powerful than me that made it happen. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this. And uh, maybe I'll share the next one on video. I'm not sure. If uh, you want me to, send me some comments down in the comment section. Say you want to see the big mural. 
Okay. Tomorrow we'll frame it up. That was what we started with. That's what we finished with. Hopefully your screen is big enough to read that. Well, thank you for spending time with me. I love that I can share this and I'll try to share more. I've got a lot of stuff coming up with some tiny house stuff. So you'll.